I got a bread for you, no? Is he tall? Kunle, good brother. Eh? Is he tall? No, one, well, no. No, is he tall? No, I actually got a bread oh, How oh, tall yeah. is he? Not my height. <laughs> Lord, I want to know you. I want to experience your power. I want to know you like David knew you, like Moses knew you. Help me to know you, Lord. Hmm. I like this one. Somebody who wants to know me and is hungry for me gives me so much joy. <laughs> Angel? Yes, Lord. Answer his prayers. All right, Lord. So how do you want it? Allow him to experience me as Jairi. Allow him to know me as the God that provides. Okay. So that would mean I'll have to allow the other guy to touch him a little, right? Yes. All right. He might take away his job, though. Yes. I want him to know that even without a job, I can always provide for him. All right. Weeks later. Why did you allow this to happen to me, Lord? You don't love me. How will I survive without a job? What Bible is you reading? God, I have some exciting news. Okay, ready? So one of my friends just announced her pregnancy today, and another friend just got engaged. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that great? And I'm still here, single as a Pringle, God. I'm still here, single as a Pringle. Isn't that great? Well, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Because they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. But God, I feel like I'm mounting up with wings as pigeons. I feel like a pigeon, God. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine because your timing is always perfect. But Lord, I just request expedited shipping. Please. That's all. Thank you. I love you. Okay, so he's a 10, but on the first date, he told you that God told him that you were his wife. Ew, no, oh, negative one. Negative, ugh, negative one. Okay, so he's a six, but he plays the drums on the worship team. Oh, easy 10. That's a 10. 10. Okay, so he's above a 10, total hunk, total man of God, but he hates veggie tales. Uh, zero? I thought you said he was a man of God. Okay, so he's a five, but he loves to travel and every time he does, he makes sure he leaves room to evangelize. Hmm. Okay, um, how was he during worship? Oh, he goes all out unashamed and he believes where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. 10. That's a 10. Hi, welcome to God's Grace, where it's Yahweh or no way. What can I get for you today? <laughs> oh, you poor thing. What's going on? I just thought I would be in such a different place in life right now. Like, eh, it's not going any way I thought. Oh, I see. I see. I think I have the perfect thing for you. Okay. It's our Isaiah 40, 31 and Proverbs 19, 21 combo. What's in that? Well, it will ensure that you will keep waiting on the Lord and he will renew your strength. It will also encourage you to keep trusting in the Lord because many, many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Okay, yeah, I need that, like, a lot. How much is it? Oh, it's on the house. It was paid for around 2,000 years ago on a cross. This is your gentle reminder that one time in the Bible, Elijah was like, God, I'm so mad! I want to die! And God was like, here's some food. Why don't you take a nap? So he slept and ate and decided things weren't so bad. Never underestimate the spiritual power of a nap and a snack. Is it me? Am I the drama? What was that? Oh, oh really devil? You're gonna try me right now while I'm in the shower? You know what? You leave me with no choice. For God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound mind. So that's right. You have no authority here. In Jesus' name. Wait a second. I hope that like wasn't someone trying to break in because they're about to catch these holy hands. Ain't no weapon formed against me shall prosper. In Jesus' name. Lord, as I step out today, I ask that your angels will go with me. Order my footsteps, Lord. Show me mercy, show me favor today. As Angel, you know what to do. Yes, Lord. Also, ensure he misses his boss. There's going to be a robbery along his usual path today. All right, Lord. And one more thing. Ensure the next boss comes really late. I want him to get to work very late today. 
so that he doesn't get enlisted for that transfer. You know what that would mean for him? Oh, definitely we don't want that. Nah. Much later. Lord, why did you allow this happen to me? I missed my boss. I even missed the transfer. You know how many months I've been praying and fasting for this? Why, why did we let this happen? When they baptize you, what do they say? In the name of the Son, the Father, the Holy Spirit, <laughs> dunk you under the water. I'm reading the Bible that Jesus got baptized. I was like, well, what did they say to him? <laughs> there's like, there's like, you, your dad, and your best friend. <laughs> Okay. Wait, come back here. Okay. What was the name of this group chat? Here are seven things God hates according to Proverbs 6, 16 through 19. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift to running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among brethren. So I suggest you do not do these things. One more time, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> you triggered. Mahershal al <laughs> What? Mahershal al hajbaz Mahershal al hajbaz Okay, got it. Was that right, God? Did I get that right? Barodak Balan. No, Baladan. Barodak Baladan. Oh, I think I got it. Barodak Baladan. God, do you like that? Barodak Baladan. I think I said that pretty good. <laughs> I'm warning you, you need to spend more time in the word and less time in the world. I'm gonna see for myself. Oh! Should I? No, no, it's okay. She's good. I'm gonna go read. Girl, I am so done with her. Like, that bridge is burned, that ship has sailed, the baby bird has left its nest. Oh, okay. That that sounds pretty harsh. Well, what she did is unforgivable. Oh, okay, so you're like not planning on forgiving her, are you? Like I said, the baby bird has left its nest. Girl, like you have every single right to be upset, but like, do you know how much the Lord has forgiven you? I mean, yeah. And do you know how much weight you carry by holding unforgiveness? I mean, I did feel a little heavier this morning. Look, I'm not saying go back and be buddy buddy best friends with this girl, but it is gonna be a weight lifted off of your chest to forgive her. <sighs> Fine, okay, you're right. I guess the baby bird has landed back in his nest. Okay, you got this. You got this. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't bad. See, I'm brave. I'm brave. Thank you, God, for being with me.